hard, but definitely Eaton's a little bit of nerfs this patch. I, mean, I would call it pretty hard. I, I know people are like, oh, she's still top tier. And like, sure, but she was the best. <laughs> so it's true. But obviously, thank you, Next, proving he was not carried by Peach. He's still able to do a lot of good things on Peach. So heading into this, this is a lot of neutral. There's a lot of just dashing back and forth right now. They are trying to feel one another out. I am sure they have played before, but I do not know the set count between these two. Yeah, I don't think they would play on like a regular basis. Oh, well, down tilt's coming in. I feel like Lunik would know that, but I don't know where Lunik is, so. <laughs> wow, I can't believe Golf Club is 18%. That is wild. Wow. Komodo really uh, dominating the neutral so far. He's won almost every single exchange. Yeah, listen. Semi spike? Okay. We're making it to the ledge. This game, one thing that I love about Ultimate is how well balanced Ultimate is. Komodo's out here with a character that I've seen on a lot of the 3.1 tier lists being bottom two, bottom three, bottom four. Out here, holding his own, getting at least top nine, if not top eight at a tournament of this size with this much talent. You can win with literally anybody in this game. Maybe not plan. Anybody, <laughs> anybody else. Is he low profile Peach's grab? I think. I think he might. I think by holding. <gasps> oh, he just like dash danced on the parasol and avoided that back air to live. <laughs> Komodo just says, uh, you, you can float all you want. I have enough jumps. We'll, we'll just uh, outlast here. After that uh, really powerful start, I think he had like an 80% lead. It's actually, you know, mostly come back. Now now they're both just at KO percents. And just like that. Thank you, next for the lead. And that is just top tier privilege for you in a nutshell, right? Komodo has won all the neutral exchanges, landed so many hits, but it takes up to 167 before he's gonna be able to get Getting to Getting damage each. with Kirby is hard because a lot of his combos aren't guaranteed. And once you get past that like 40, 50%, none of his throw <laughs> combos work. So it's really hard for Kirby to get things going at those higher percents. That's why you see Thank You Next living to 150 because Komodo doesn't really have a whole lot of confirms once you get above 100. Avoiding the up tilts and coming down, man. Yep, that the, back air is like the weapon of choice for Thank You Next here. He's just throwing the butt in his face over and over. Get the hearts out. He needs to rely on that destroy a little bit because as we've seen, like, Komodo has range on Kirby's feet. It'll outrange a lot of what Peach does want to do. Down here to up tilt. Never get tired of seeing that confirm. The one thing that's really uh, surprising to me is how little uh, kind of turnip farming Thank You Next does. A lot of times I see um, Peach players really just like hunting for the the stitch face or dot eyes or what bomb, what, what have you. But Thank You Next not really pulling very many turnips. He's probably pulled less than 20 in this <gasps> game. Oh, he, he just waited. He's stocks. floated down with him. Let's see what Thank You Next can do to answer. Low percent is when Kirby is scariest because Kirby can just do so much damage so quickly to you if you're at low percent. There it is. Just like that. Trip. That's 35% so quick off like two exchanges. Ooh, I didn't realize Ganon can get 35% off one hit, but for Kirby, that's good. Can he get the edge guard? Ooh. Nope. Nice tech, though. So Komodo not put in a full state of disadvantage. Yeah, Komodo with a nice lead here, but the scary thing about Peach in this matchup for Kirby is Peach can kind of one combo Kirby and kill him kind of whenever now. Yeah, he, uh, I think he next has not really been looking for down tilt. It's kind of curious that he's not contesting Kirby's down tilt with some of his own. And choosing to approach with no turn up in hand also seems like a weird choice to me. Because you, you can, if you have the time and the space, you might as well, you know, get the item out. Nice. Don't, yeah, not quite gonna do it. See, top tier privilege. Kirby just does not have those uh, KO options on Kirby, deck. Kirby's throw game is dash lacking, tech? to say the least. Yeah, I'm surprised there was no dash tag there. But maybe he thought Komodo would, ex or uh, Thank You Next would expect the dash attack, so he didn't go for it. Strong hit back air. No, I'm not even into the magnifying glass. Poor Kirby. <laughs> All right, this is ne thank you next opportunity. One more string. And oh, Ooh. forward tilt just takes it eventually. <laughs> so here we are, Komodo with the 1-0 lead on thank you next. There wasn't even a red flash there. Does that mean that you DI'd it wrong? I think so. Yeah. Although sometimes the game's also just dumb. <laughs> sometimes yeah, it, the it game is, uh, is wrong. The, the red flash is almost a, uh, a fake out as often as it is. I guarantee the like kill cam thing it is wrong almost as much if not more than it is right fix please Sakurai all right
Alrighty. And I think we saw a Pokemon, so we're going straight. Oh, oh Daisy. Okay. Exchanging our hearts for flowers. And a blonde for a Bruna. We come in with the Daisy pick. Man, Kimono has gotten him onto the ledge at the start of both games and often the start of stocks. Which is definitely what Kimono needs to do in this matchup. Uh, Peach's off ledge options are not great. It is one of her bigger weak areas. So being able to put her in that disadvantaged state is what Komodo needs to win against a higher tier character. This time, Thank You Next able to go blow for blow, though. Komodo not building up a, a too big of a lead here. Dash attack. All right, we got the juggle situation. Nice little tomahawk there. Oh, got him off stage here. Let's see if he can get nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Oh, that looked really scary to me. The free fall oh, state. I don't know what are you jumping for there. Why, why, why are you jumping? Uh, he's looking for that back air. Just a Why girl can't jump? Ooh. Finally able to secure a kill. Oh, that shield's real small. Got that M&M &M shield right now. Got to be really careful what Komodo does for the next few seconds. Wow. That almost broke. Yeah, I thought the... It's like he did a poke. <laughs> oh, went for it. I respect that so much. Uh, not, not super... Uh, likely to happen against Pe uh, Peach or Daisy in this case, but oh, oh, yep, that roll. Oh my goodness! Wow, very nice DI from you. We're talking about top tier privilege. Maybe Kirby had that top tier privilege right now. <laughs> Nair comes out frame five, so you know, <laughs> frame five KO move for uh, Daisy. It's weird to say Daisy. It's weird to see Daisy being used in a Smash game. Ooh, nice little up tilt string. Back air, it's a grab and a follow up. Oh no. Oh, getting clipped by that get him attack. You never want to get clipped by a get him attack. It always kind of feels bad. Yeah, definitely. Especially because of how powerful the jab block setups are in this game. Alright, eat the up B. Let's see what punish we can get off of this. Awkward little, uh, just like. Punching back and forth, uh, pl players winning neutral a lot, but really just getting strings. None of the uh, the true combos that you kind of expect to see out of these characters. There we go. Nair. Once again. Yeah, back-to-back -back stocks taken by Nair from Thank You Next. He's oh, let's see if Komodo can get anything here. Komodo catches the Peach, or, or turn up, I mean, but doesn't get anything off of it. Ooh, misses Dare and gets hit by Komodo's Dare, but not able to chase down after the semi-spike. Komodo gets so much mileage off that forward tilt. I love how much he uses it so well. Gets it, kills off of it, cleans up neutral with it. Yeah, his um, micro spacing with it is really good too. Great just float back by Thank You Next. That was like melee peach right there. It's kind of wow, floating with him. Yeah, he's starting to run away with this game. Komodo down like the full stock, sitting at 100 on his last. And Thank You Next, uh, even if Komodo's able to get the KO here, which he struggled to do. Um, you know, there's still going to be a lot left to play. I don't think up the out throw is not going to kill that hitting a platform yet. I mean, what does Komodo do there? Do forward, forward throw sucks. Right. Down throw is not good at this percent. There we go. Get that forward tilt. Yeah. It's just so hard for Komodo. Buff Kirby? Question mark, Sakurai, please. <laughs> yeah, that's this the is, thing. This is, is your like, baby, Sakurai. He, he's making it look playable, but it's still a lot of extra work for him compared to uh, what Thank You Next has to accomplish on the Daisy end. I see. That's, that's what we call a GameStop trade. When you trade it in and you get crap for it. So, <laughs> yeah, he got the trade, but that is not the trade you are looking for. He said, hey, what can I get for Far Cry 5? And they said, a penny and a firm handshake. That is what just happened to that man right now. All right, so thank you, next. Able to answer back eh, on Smashville. And now we're going into the other Animal Crossings, Town and City. Obviously, uh, Komodo gonna stick with the Kirby throughout the series. I think Thank You Next does have a couple of other characters that he's fiddled around with, but it's been all, uh, you know, Peach, well, Daisy in this case. I mean, it's working for me if he lost that first game, but here he is, game oh, two, no. like, winning game two, here we are, game three, town and city, baby. Man, so many characters, if they land two up tilts on you, it's about to be like 60, and Kirby got like 19. <laughs> yeah, what a smart use of the Paracel there from Thank You Next just to get out of that combo. That, he might have been dead if he hadn't got that out in time. Ooh. Kirby's dash check, one of the ones that uh, got massively buffed and now has real KO potential. 
Yeah, every time I get hit by it, I'm like, wait a second, shoot, I'm about to die. Yeah, same thing with like getting hit by Pikachu dash attack in this game. It, it, it's really annoying to die in early percents to it. I'm used to like uh, the weak, weak hitting <laughs> move in all the other games. Yeah, I came from a melee background where Peach dash attack, uh, uh, Peach, uh, Pikachu dash attack is not what you are looking for. That is not the move. So hopping into this game and being like, oh, it just killed me at like 100 will never not be weird to me. Low I, profile of that. The cool. town and city pick uh, actually working to Komodo's advantage. It's the slot side Boom. blast zones are really close, so the back air was able to KO early. Unfortunately, uh, Peach just has uh, good enough, or Daisy, excuse me, has good enough KO potential where she's able to get him. The, the sound effect yeah. when the frying pan hits is my favorite piece of sound work in this whole game. <laughs> Whoever did the Foley work for that, I hope it would have some dude in a room with like an actual frying pan is like, hitting a wall, like hitting his buddy on the head, like that is just the best sound effect in this whole game. It's so satisfying to hit. You very rarely hear it. If you're in audio tech out in the world, please do not hit your friends on the head with frying pans. Or do, <laughs> you know, it's fine. It was a consensual hit. It was for it, the it was for the good of Smash. No job is worth that much money. Up Bro. throw, she's probably gonna kill. Nah, nope. not yet, not yet. Oh Probably a few more percent still there. Or Kirby. Come on, man. Everybody else's up throw that takes you to the top of the screen KOs early. Even Meta Knight can get kills off those situations. That will... That'll do it. There we go. Finally. At 148%. <laughs> and this is not feels like a, This is not the low Pokemon Stadium uh, platform. This is Town and City's high platforms, and it still took that much. Come on 43%, 49, 55%. That's what, like, you don't see that out of Kirby very often. Like, 55% <laughs> combo, usually you're seeing, like, oh, he got 10 hits and it did 5%. Like I said, though, when, he, when the down tilt trips, that's when he gets that big payoff. The rest of the time, it's really just Komodo making magic happen. Ooh, I thought the whiff dare was going to be a big punish. In the end, Thank You Next is able to chase him down, but just a two-piece. You know, Komodo has not looked for any smashes. Yeah, he's thrown a couple full. <gasps> That's oh, I so thought he, sad. I thought he was about to live that. Was he at 80 before the hit? I think so. <laughs> And that's, and that's after the nerf. That, that aerial got nerfed in 3.1. Yeah. Obviously, not enough, question mark. <laughs> uh, Kirby, one of those balloon characters, is in that like bottom tier weight class, so does die earlier than most. Ooh, I have not seen this Isab out of Komodo. Yes, I actually saw him warming up Isabel with uh, Katakiri earlier, just like playing some friendlies, so. I thought that was just friendlies. I didn't realize this was a tournament-ready character, but coming Isab in. Isabel is a cool character. I was actually, I actually, I just watched, uh, I'm gonna mispronounce her name, Bochi, I think, or Boichi. I watched her guide at Isabel last night before I went to bed. Uh, this character actually has some sauce. I think she is majorly slept on. She has great combos with her aerials. Aerial dash tag. Now, her neutral game is lacking. Her kill potential is lacking. But this character does have more than people give her credit for. Uh, I, I just really like getting cheesy ooh, cheesy tree kills, cheesy uh, bowling ball kills. So Isabel is just never going to be the character for me. That's fair. That's fair. I never played Smash 4 very much, so I do not understand how Tree works, and I'm bad at it. So I prefer <laughs> Isabel because it makes more sense to me. How it works is you put it on the platform, and no one thinks it does anything, and then it just drops on their head and they die. That's the that's the villager game plan in a nutshell. <laughs> Ooh, Speed Once of again, game plan in a nutshell. Yeah. Kills. Komodo maybe should have uh, opted for something. Oh, drops Ooh. the pot on him. He's been looking for it all game. He says 420, gets that take this pot. <laughs> Uh, weed is not legal in Ohio, so uh, I just guess go back to California 2GG, take it. Just medical, <laughs> go, go enjoy yourself back out there. Yeah, medically it is. First dispensary open in Columbus uh, summer. So. Oh, did not know that. I was oh. out in Colorado recently. Uh, every corner, a dispensary. Kind of cracked me up. Uh, my sister-in-law actually works at a dispensary in Colorado. <gasps> so There we go. There's more of those than there are Speedway or Subways. That's saying something, because Subway no, is everywhere. No pot needed for that kill, though. Uh, a no. little bit of a flubbed recovery out of Thank You Next, and Komoda evens it up. Ooh, brutal. Gosh. It's Daisy just, Daisy Peach, they just do so much damage. Already up to 100. Deech? We call them Deech collectively, or Paisy? Another early kill. 
Thank you, next buck. Popping out a new move this time, though, the up smash, catching Komoda trying to dash across the platform. I'll say this, Komoda's Isabel looks much less practiced than his Kirby does. It's uh, it's really the spacing that stands out to me. With the Kirby, like you were saying, those forward tilts, those down tilts, uh, you know, getting the back air kills. He's doing, he was doing an excellent job of just staying at just the right ranges. Oh, this is oh, kind of silly. Oh, those up airs. <laughs> but he has thrown out a lot of neutral airs on shield and has been punished for almost all of them. Like, you have to be... He's a little more careful with that spacing on those neutral airs. To his credit, Peach and Daisy have like the best out of shield with the that flow back, cancels. That back air is so good out of shield. That's right there. That's what you need more of. That like fade away nair on shield is so so good for Isabel. None of that like shield cross up stuff where you're gonna get hit by the back air. It's crazy how hard it is to hit these slingshots even on a character as tall as uh, Daisy. All right, Daisy got to be careful. The Lloyd rocket is right behind her. Oh, it's gone now. It went away. It went away. There it is. Okay, please oh. make Fishing Rod go through shield. <laughs> it's a projectile, I know all that, but like, it feels so bad when you see it bounce off a shield. All right, well, Komodo with a chance to make it competitive here. If he takes this stock, then, you know, there's a realistic shot at it. Thank oh. you, Next Might, to have uh, take run away with the series. Oh, forward tilt, not quite gonna kill. He hits with the Paracel. He's not short hopping those uh, down airs he's going for. He's going for the full hops, so there I'm not go. sure. If he knows something we don't about this matchup, but I feel like he's just he's going way too high to actually hit that down air. Well, back throw is going to do it eventually. But Will he get back? Scary situation. Ooh, he has he has the turn up. Will it will it be a game changer? <laughs> uh, no, it will not. He just threw it and it missed. That was and forward air. Forward air. There we go. So many stocks taken by forward air there. For thank you next. The so that is going to be it for Richard Hag and I. Shout out to thank you next, making it top eight. Komoda, ninth place at a tournament with so much talent. Super proud of him. So we are going to go ahead and hop off the mic. Top 8 will be up for you in just a moment with Sai and Korean casting that. Thank you so much for